Greetings and good morning, everybody. Uh, today, I just want to create a short video about secondary sources. And the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to go to the Team Dynamics Online homepage. You're going to click on Vermont History Day. When you click on Vermont History Day, as we've spoken about before, you're going to go to Instructional Materials. You click on the Instructional Materials. And then I'm just going to use my side scroll bar. I'm going to scroll down to where I see the inquiry and research section and yesterday I asked that you read about secondary sources and watch this short video. So I've also created a secondary source analysis sheet which I'll go over in just a second and basically for your Vermont History Day you need to do three of these if you're submitting a project and those you don't have to turn in three of them to me you just have to turn in one example of your work to me. So Here's what the secondary source analysis sheet looks like. Uh, basically, you have to find secondary sources. <coughs> Excuse me. And remember, secondary sources are those that are created later by someone who did not experience firsthand or participate in the events. So what you want to do, and I'm going to show you this in a second, is you go out, you find a resource, you copy and paste the URL right here. And then after reading uh, the resource carefully, you want to fill in this information. What's the title of the document, the author, what's the intended audience, what's the topic the author is addressing, what is the author's argument or main idea, and what evidence is provided to support this argument. Down here, you want to identify facts presented by the author and opinions presented by the author. Now, I realize we're not in the classroom, and this may be difficult. Uh, we don't have the opportunity to work together to go over our reading of informational text, but you know from our class that that includes reading slowly and adjusting your pace. It includes taking notes. You may want to highlight the important information and you want to ask questions about the reading that are occurring while you're going through that material. And then you want to figure out whether or not this is a trusted source, what questions uh, does the source raise, and where might you find answers to those questions. Now, you'll be able to find this secondary source analysis page in your Google Classroom. Today is Thursday, April 2nd. This is absolutely not due uh, by today or tomorrow. Uh, we'll work on this in our annotated bibliographies next week. However, if you do want to get a little bit ahead and you have some time, you may want to start exploring some secondary sources. So if you can remember from class, my research project was going to be about Jackie Robinson. So I'm going to go out to a Google uh, sorry, a Chrome browser page, and I'm just going to type Jackie Robinson. Uh, I think I put in articles. I'm going to hit enter, and then I'm going to look at my results. And as you recall, we're looking for edu.gov.org sites. So I see that the first, here's an interesting one that I looked at, uh, but I'm not going to quite go there just yet. In a previous search, I found an article that I liked a little bit better. And this right here is the Library of Congress.gov breaking the color line. So we talked about breaking barriers. That's the theme of this year's contest. And breaking the word is right in the title. So I'm going to click on this. And again, I've done some pre-work. So I know that this looks like an absolutely awesome article. Uh, it's got a lot of information about um, Major League Baseball. It talks about Jackie Robinson right here. And then I also look at this paragraph, in addition to racial intolerance, economic and other complex factors, there was this segregation in baseball. So I know that uh, just on my past experience and my past research, I know that there's going to be a lot of information in this article about how Jackie Robinson was not only a great ball player, but he was also, he would become a civil rights activist. So you also notice on the top here that you can listen to this page. So I can listen to the audio uh, version of it. And uh, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to read this and then I'm going to, once I finish reading, I'm going to complete this form and I'll submit that uh, probably next week. Uh, again, this is Vermont History Day. We're looking at secondary sources and this has been a short tutorial to help you understand the process for that. Uh, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact Mr. Taylor. And again, this is just an introduction. We'll get more into this work next week. Thanks very much for listening and hope you have a great day.